Chapter 10, End of Days, for NextGenWalkthroughs.com. I think that was an awesome Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. End of Days? Yeah. I haven't heard of it. It's like the apocalypse and Arnold's badass. Oh, Apocalypse Now? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Oh, okay. <laughs> no good. So Anyways. we're getting closer to the end of the game, and now that we're actually talking about the game and not our uh, loving fan base... You're going to come on what looks to be uh, like a, a Scientology meeting where everybody drank the punch. And there's a whole bunch of dead bodies on the ground. <laughs> he's got punch on his face. <laughs> yeah, he's not a... He's got a drinking problem. Whoa. So I sped up the stomping of bodies ritual. Because later on in this level, you're going to come back through this area and there's going to be a couple of those uh, manta ray looking uh, necromorphs. And they're going to convert as many of these guys into the super beasts as they can. And so you need to stomp all those guys into pieces before you leave. Oh, zero G basketball. I think this is where I show the video of it, but yeah, it is. So, uh, there will be a separate video for this as well, but Zero G Basketball, it's another one of those uh, kind of mini games that are sprinkled throughout the game. And there's an achievement for getting through the last level, and I think you get a power node or maybe like a ruby semiconductor and a bunch of other money and stuff like that for uh, completing the last level. And you're in like in the locker room right now? Mm-hmm. So as soon as you go into there, there's going to be a couple of the evil Bulbasaurs that are kind of a pain in the ass to kill. Because there's nothing really to hide behind or dodge. As soon as you um, fly onto that second platform to pick up the, I don't know, key card or whatever it is up there, they're going to come flying out. So run back to the door, go back through. <clears throat> And then I sped up the killing process with these guys. So just play chicken by jumping in and out of the door and getting them to uh, go into an area where you can see them easier. Wow, I sped that up really fast. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, it's really hard to get through that area without taking a lot of damage. It's pretty sweet how much blood is on those panels. Yeah, it's a pretty cool effect. And so I cut out the first... Uh, five levels of Zero G Basketball. And there are some complicated rules to this game, but the easiest way to play it is just stand on the front platform and then wait for the ball to come out, grab it with the Kinesis module, and then throw it in the hole that has the lights. And then just do that for, I think the game lasts for two minutes, 120 seconds. And just do that as quickly as you can, and you should easily pass the Zero G Basketball. Now the only tricky thing is, is that after every level that you completed, you have to walk out the door, go into the locker room, pick up the reward that you get, and then walk back in. Uh, that took me a little while to figure out, because it seemed like I was doing everything that you needed to do to get the high score, but unless you walk out, it won't activate the next level. Hmm. Yeah, kind of weird. I mean, I can't imagine that I was intentional, but you know, the first time I played through this game, I didn't get past the first level, and I did the first level like five times because I thought I was screwing something up. Yeah, I hate that when that shit happens in games. Mm -hmm.
So after doing that for a full two minutes, I got a score of 30 right there, and that was more than enough to get it. I actually don't know what the minimum score is that you need to get to complete it, but um, I've never failed that once I understood that you just have to sit on the front and uh, throw the ball right back. It'd be cool if they had, like, a, a video of people playing it. What the fuck are you talking about? This is, like, a, a deserted basketball court, right? Mm-hmm. I'd want to see, like, a, like a, you could, like, pick up an Intel. It was, like, a video of people playing the oh, game, yeah. zero-G basketball. Well, one of the Intel that I picked up was a text log defining how to play it. But yeah. a, a video would have been cooler because yeah. it didn't really make sense, the text rules. It's something, like, there's these lit platforms that you can jump on and you get multipliers and shit like that when you jump from like one to the next to the next to the next and you get extra points but it's so much easier just to stand on the front on the front platform and just do layups the entire time or free throws <laughs> I guess you wouldn't really need a bouncy ball in zero G no no you wouldn't or you wouldn't I mean maybe I don't know how mm. that works. So now that you've come back, it's going to be one of these motherfuckers. Manta rays. And even though I stomped out all the bodies, there will be another one of the super beasts. Super uh, necromancers. Necrometers? <laughs> it's pronounced thermometer. <laughs> it's a gauge of how dead you are. Mm -hmm. So you're doing something. Yes, I bought the level 5 suit with all the extra money that I had. Does it change you right now? Mm hmm. Right now, 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 now. The army suit that you get for completing the game is pretty awesome looking. Yeah, it's like I a agree. Star Wars suit looking thing. It's bad. Do you have any videos of it? I do not, unfortunately. I do not. Can you sell your old suit? No, unfortunately. And they're so expensive. You really wish that you could, but nope. 